about to get started here and pitching in this game Mason Black safe to say he's pretty stingy Chris well this guy's just been filthy out there on the mound hitters batting under 200 against him and they're just having a hard time squaring up anything doing any type of damage the only way he hurts himself is if he gives up the free passes and surrenders a rare home run but outside of that it's gonna be a tough job for the opposing lineup today popped up left side settles underneath it makes the grab one down let's take a look at the Brewers lineup a really frustrating showing for them in their last game lots of traffic on the bases but they left a ton of runners on base couldn't cash in their chances Chris they had plenty of chances there's nobody to blame it on but themselves offensively they just did a poor job converting in those situations you have to figure out what's your plan going to be maybe watch some tape from the last game make the adjustment so if you get those opportunities in this one you've got a much better chance of scoring some runs and another ball. Got him swinging. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting a ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. On the ground to third. Zips it to first. And Milwaukee is set down in order. Nobody left for Milwaukee. Now it's the Giants' turn. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in San Francisco. And today's starter, Frankie Montas. Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Boog, if you can set up a good two-strike splitter with the fastball on the previous pitch, it's going to be so tough to recognize and adjust your swing to get a piece of it. Clearly had him reaching for it right there. Here's Elliot Ramos. Right through there for a strike. Foul ball still a one and two count. Two, Next two. offering is outside. That ball. one misses and the count's full. Yeah. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Stays alive. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Now well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Cut on and miss, struck him out. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Two outs, base is empty. The batter will be Michael Conforto. And another ball. Two down, nobody on. 
Fastball yeah. for a strike. It's two and two. Looks really sharp at the start of this one. This is how it's going to be today. It's going to be a tough one for this lineup. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Two outs. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. Michael Conforto with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And here is Matt Chapman. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. First inning and already up to 23 pitches. Ball and there's three. a ball. Two two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the third out. So the Giants leave one. We played an inning. No score. Back here at Oracle Park. Second inning set to go. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder Garrett Mitchell. Just missed. Two balls, one strike. Now fly ball to right center. Yastrzemski sizing this one up. And there's one away. That is good. The good side. Willie Adamas stands in. There's a swing and a drive. And that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And his first big league hit is a double. Willie Adamas with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. One down. Now here's Jake Bowers. Left-hand hitter waits. Ball two. 2-1. Fastball in for a strike, and it's 2-2. Two two. Joe McDonald doing the home plate duties here. Well, Joe is an interesting one. I'm always trying to figure out what exactly his zone is. Feels like it kind of moves around from game to game, sometimes inning to inning. Righty delivers. Still two and two after the foul ball. Yeah, I think that's fair. I don't think he's ever way off with his balls and strikes, but yeah, I don't think it's easy to define what his zone is, like you said. Ball. That one off the mark. And now three and two. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. Yastrzemski makes the grab for the second out.
And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Man on second, two down. Gets a piece and stays alive. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Oh. And another ball. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. And it's second. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. And welcome back Leading to the ballpark. The so here's Wade now. The first baseman. Here comes a pitch. That just misses, and it's two and one. Now a screamer into the outfield. Perkins makes the catch, and there's one away. Wow, he looked like he was running before the ball was hit. Didn't have much time as that was a hard hit liner, but a nice job of covering a lot of ground in a short amount of time. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. 2-2 two -two down. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, that's three. too high. Full count. That's to third. Sends it across out. to first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Got him, got him. Patrick Bailey, the next giant to hit. He is at the top of the game in terms of defense at the catching spot. Come back to the mound, and that hits the bag. Patrick Bailey with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming. Dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Now Marco Luciano. Swing and a miss, and that is that. One left for San Francisco. We'll move to the third with no score. And we're back. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Blake Perkins. Blake. Kicks and deals. Ball. And another ball. Two balls, one strike. That no, one drifts inside. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Luciano fires over to first. And one away in the top of the third. The third base, number three. Joseph Ortiz. 
Joseph Ortiz now at the plate. Next offering is in for a strike. And that's down it away. It's a good take. Liner to second and picked on the hop. Throw off line. He's safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. Looked to me like he got on the side of the ball a little too much right there. Maybe a little too casual as well with the throwing motion. And when you don't stay on top of the ball and really get out front and finish with a good release point, it's very easy to lose control of it to either side. Back to the top of the lineup. This is Bryce Terang. And the right-hander deals. Swing and a miss. And the count, one and two. One, two. Top of the third, no score. Rudder takes off. Come on and miss. Bro, save! Now a chance for Jackson Chorio. And the righty deals. And that one fouled off. Ortiz on its second with two down. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Two outs. Hard on the ground to first. He takes it himself He's to the out. bag, and that'll do it. Brewers strand one, and we're still knotted at zero. here in San Francisco ready to go for the last half of the inning and digging in for San Francisco Grant McCray the line to kick the pitch swinging a foul straight back and another ball two two That one misses, and it's a full count. Right-hander kicks, deals. Bounced out to short. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Back to the leadoff spot of the Giants lineup. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. One out, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run down, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. One down, base is empty. And he walked him. Take your base. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Elliot Ramos, the next giant to hit. That pitch in for a strike, and it's one and two. Man at first, one away. it off still one and two oh, 
the pitch. Headed towards the corner. And it stays fair. The throw to third. He's in there. Elliot Ramos with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you work to get here. Runners on the corners with one gone. And here is Michael Conforto. Two on, one out. Fights that one away, still one and two. And a pinch. That's towards center. Touches down, that's a hit. Run scores easily, and it's one nothing. In there safely. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Runners at the corners here, one away. Matt Chapman up to the plate now. And the pitch. Good Go, eye in that high. spot. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Righty to the plate. Swings and misses. Two gone now. Now back. First base. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. Two on, two outs. Right side. And that one handled. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. As we go to the top of the fourth, and now it's William Contreras. William Contreras. The pitch. Got the back going too soon. It's strike two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And he deals. Look out. A couple sliders away gets that hitter to really start looking and even leaning out over the plate. Very susceptible for the two-seamer here. Let's see what he throws. Got him. One gone here. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Up now for Milwaukee, Garrett Mitchell. Right through there for a strike. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Garrett Mitchell with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And the batter will be the shortstop, Willie Adamas.
Ball Next three. offering is downstairs. I love this part of the game. Does he really want to try and steal second against this catcher? I know he's fast, but it's pretty risky. Mitchell at first, one gone. Check on the runner, and he's back in safely. Runner on the goal. 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. So first and second with one gone. Next for Milwaukee, Jake Bowers. Two on, one out. And a count one and two. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. The one, two. Oh. And another ball. Two, two. Swing and a miss. Two out. That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. First and second, two down. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Two outs. That one hit to right. It falls in, and that's a hit. Around third, the relay. And he's out easily. That ends the inning, but they do score a run here. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. To the bottom of inning number four now. All tied, 1-1. And the batter now, Tyler Fitzgerald. Not shortstop. Tyler Fitzgerald. Swings through that one out in front that time. One, Misses off the play. And the count is even two and two. Popped in the air. Left field. Puts it away for the out. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. Patrick Bailey, the next giant to hit. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And it's into the bleachers. Out of here. He checks that one out to left. His first homer of the year. And just like that, they're out front. It's 2-1. That's a great way to fire up this crowd. They're feeling it now. Man, he just barely got that one out of here, and you've got to love the effort and laugh to try and bring it back. He had a good shot at it, just couldn't quite pull it off. It would have been a stunner if he did. D.L. Hall on the pitch here. On for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget. Better believe that. It's always so special the first time 
you get into a big league ball game. I did it as a position player, but for him as a pitcher, I'm sure there's some nerves there. Probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight. Just relax and do what you're capable of doing. Now it's the second baseman, Marco Luciano. Out towards left center. Makes the grab on the run. And well, there are two down. Two outs, base is empty. And up next for San Francisco, Grant McCray. Two down, base is empty, but one run across. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Fly ball to right. Mitchell gets under it, nabs it, and that is the third out of the inning. It's a run for the Giants on the solo blast. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Oracle Park. New inning getting started. Up now for Milwaukee, Blake Perkins. Ball to strike. The pitch. Chop to third. No, and he grabs it. Foul. And a pitch. That one way inside. In the air, left field down the line, and that is foul. The pitch. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Makes the catch. And there's one down. Well, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Next for the Brewers, Joseph Ortiz. One down, base is empty. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. That's back. And it's caught just in front of the wall. Here's the leadoff man for the Brewers, Bryce Terrain. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. And that keeps the inning going. Bryce Terang with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Runner at first with two away. Jackson Chorio, the next to hit. And a pitch. Whoa. And another ball. He might want to steal second two in this one. spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. Now move to first. He's and he's dead. back safely. On the ground to third, and it finds its way through for a hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. Jackson Chorio with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. William Contreras digs in now. And here it comes. 
That one the other way. Nice grab. Generally, not the type of great play you expect from a first baseman, but he does a great job of hauling that one down. Bottom of the inning, Mike Yastrzemski up here. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, Try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Activity in the bullpen for the Brewers. Aaron Savali up and throwing. Myers getting loose as well. Cold night like tonight. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Now here is Elliot Ramos. The pitch. Missed with a changeup, and it's two and one. Swing and a miss. Base is empty, one away. Last half of inning number five. Hammers that one, curling down the line, and foul. 2 2 down. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. Well, he saw that change up really well. Just a little early, still barreled it. As you see, home run distance just couldn't keep it fair. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. Swing and a miss struck him out. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Michael Conforto will climb in. The wind of the pitch. And a big swing and a miss. And down on strikes he goes. Three up, three down, inning over. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. New arm for the Giants, number 76. On for his major league debut, so we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, there are just more people in the stands, and it's a bigger stadium, but the game itself is still the same. Look at the catcher, whatever fingers he puts down, that's what you throw, and just let him lead you in this one. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Action in the San Francisco bullpen. Tyler Rogers getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Beck warming up as well. Wouldn't chase that time. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Left-hand batter waits. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Just off the inside edge. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Lifted in the air. He's under it. 
Makes the grab one away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And now Willie Adamas. The Brewers trailing by a run. And we're the top half of the sixth. Two the shortstop one. takes a ball. Slider misses outside. Three two now. Battling here as he fouls it away. One down, base is empty. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, he earned his trip to first right there. It's not easy laying off pitches that just miss the zone like that. And it's a real discipline as well. He's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game, and it paid off right there. Three and two. Payoff pitch. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. On this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Booth. Payoff pitch. In the air, right field. Yastrzemski going back on this one. Brings it in. So digging in, Reese Hoskins. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Two outs. A little out front there as he swings through. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. The one two. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Adamas off of first with two away. And Ball delivers two. outside. Here comes a pitch. Got him looking. Third out. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left on base. To the bottom of the six we go, four, five, six, coming up. It's the Giants two and the Brewers one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the six. Here's a cleanup hitter for the Giants, Matt Chapman. Line drive, and it's caught for the out. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. And up next for the Giants, Lamont Wade Jr. And another ball. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And that's outside. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Aaron Savali up and loosening in the pen. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. So now three and two. Swing and a miss. 
gassed it right by him. Not the best location with the fastball on strike three, but when you're pumping high 90s, you get away with some of those, more margin for error. You know, the fastball has become such a huge strikeout pitch in the sport. I think a lot of it has to do with all the attention and emphasis on improved spin rates. These fastballs are just exploding out of the pitcher's hands and jumping through the zone. And a swing and a miss. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Next pitch is outside. Two down, nobody on. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. 3-2. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Giants down in order, but they still lead it 2-1. to one. Now here's Tyler Rogers out of the pen. Yeah, this is the best way to make your major league debut. No one on base. Yeah, you're already going to be a little nervous out there, so I think it's a nice job by the skipper to get him in here without any added pressure with traffic on the bases. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Blake Perkins. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Chapman drifts towards it, calls it in for the out. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Joseph Ortiz will hit next. Looking to get the tying run on base. Foul ball there. misses it's a strikeout and he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to back to the top of the Milwaukee order here's the second baseman Bryce Terang here's a 1-1 fought off foul Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Two outs. On the ground to the left. Fitzgerald. On to first. Out. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Brewers go down quietly. They're down 2-1. to one. And we're back. Leading Set off. for the last Leading half off. of the seventh. Here's the catcher, the catcher. Patrick Bailey. Bailey. Swings through that one for strike two. One they can live two up strikes. in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. And that's a foul ball. The lefty fires. Backed Two. off the plate that time. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Looks like he's picked up right where he now left back. off. Second really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Now it's the second baseman, Marco Luciano. One down, base is empty. That one fouled off. The wide to kick the pitch. And another ball. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. But that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's oh, still in the gone. strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Two outs, base is empty. And digging in for San Francisco, Grant McCray. 
So a foul ball makes it one and two. Two down, nobody on. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. Giants are down one, two, three, as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Austin Warren. These are the spots where levers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. That's in there. Now one and two. Activity in the bullpen. Number 74. The closer is getting ready and perhaps looking at a long save opportunity here. Rogers getting cranked up as well. And that's in the dirt. Ground ball to the right side. Down the line, and it's foul. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Pretty good strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. And here's the catcher, William Contreras. That's off the mark. Now two balls and a strike. Holding on to a one-run lead, and we're at the top of the eighth. Next offering in there for a strike. Two balls, two strikes. This to third. Throws across the diamond. And that quickly, two away. Hasn't been the debut he was hoping to have. 0 for 4 now, but I hope he's not letting it get to him. You know, there are a lot of high hopes for him, and I think he's going to get plenty of opportunities to make his name known at this level. Two out spaces empty. And that one fouled off. Very solid inning on the mound so far here in the eighth. Holding on to this narrow lead. This is exactly what they were looking for. Backfoot slider ties him up, struck him out. Three up, three down for Milwaukee, and our score remains 2 1. On to the bottom of the eighth. Now it's the right fielder, Mike Yastrzemski. And that one in the air, center field. Perkins right there to make the grab. And a quick out, number one. Now batting, the designated hitter, Elliot. Now it's the DH, Elliot Ramos. Rip to third and caught. Yikes, that ball was scorched, an absolute missile, and it almost becomes self-defense as the fielder when one of those things comes screaming towards you. Watch your lips. Two outs, space is empty. And up next for San Francisco, Michael Conforto. Up the middle, Adamas. Tosses to first, and that ends the inning. Giants go down quietly. They lead it 2-1. Number 74 taking over on the mound. A chance at his first save of the year. Well, one run game. Willie Adamas up now for the Brewers.
kicks and deals. That's inside. That's a really good take. Jake Bowers up next. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. Righty delivers. Got him! And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door, cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. And the righty deals. Pitch misses, and it's two and one. One run game here at the top of the ninth. Next pitch is downstairs. That was feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. Reese Hoskins up next for the Brewers. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Right-handed reliever. Got him swinging. Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in, and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated, and that this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. So, last chance for the Brewers. Reese Hoskins up now for the Brewers. Next pitch in for a strike. And the count one and two. One strike away. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Black with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should. A start he won't ever forget. And your final score here today, 2-1. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.